Alright, so uh, because I was feeling it, I started reading The Last Apothecary and from what I understand or what I've read so far, it's jumping back between present day and past day and I think that's like really cute. I really like that and it's been a really kind of kind of rainy kind of miserable day so it's kind of nice just to be able to sit inside and to read but because of that i have decided to start knitting all right so i've decided to knit uh the, these like fingerless gloves and i've like balled the yarn so i think it's great Woohoo! loving life and yeah so i am still reading in blood to describe i don't know i think right now uh because the lost apothecary is more paperback and it's only 300 pages like you know what at the end of the day i'm not gonna fight myself to read or to read which book like it's not like i have to read you know this book specifically like this week as long as i'm reading so which is why I started to read this, right? It doesn't matter, right? And, you know, like in the uh, the knitting project, I have decided, well, because it's been, got some new movies and want to rewatch some old movies, so I started to, I'm going to Audrey Hepburn kind of kick today. I watched Funny Face, My Fair Lady, and Breakfast at Tiffany's. So it's been quite, quite nice right kind of like a nice little refresh to start off the week and yeah so i am looking forward to reading more of the lost apothecary so yeah we're just gonna take it from there cool beans <laughs> all right bye all right so i've read about 80 pages into the lost apothecary and i'm really enjoying it i am really enjoying the back and forth between yesteryear and today and yeah, I don't know. I really like the London Sand Society by Sarah Penner, and so which is what led me to read this, even though this book came out first. And I'm really enjoying it. We have now made the connection to the apothecary between modern day and yesteryear, so that's super exciting. Right, so I think I'm going to continue reading this for the rest of the night. I don't know. So far, so good. Really enjoying it. I would suggest it. And yeah, but now... It's about time to stop for some dinner. Woohoo! It's late at night, but who cares? You know what? Need to eat. Right? Eating's fun. Alright. Bye! Alright, so I haven't done any reading today. The day has gotten away from me. I was working all day, quite literally, and I went out for lunch with some friends, and then I didn't get a chance to read on my break at my other job this afternoon at the library, so. That's kind of where I'm at right now. I know I should be making reading more of a priority, but we're going to get there. Maybe I'll get up earlier in the morning to do some. I'm kind of exhausted right now. I just kind of want to go to bed. But I still need to do some cleaning around the house. Maybe one chapter because she always make an effort to read every single day. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. <sighs> Wednesdays are always a busy day for me. But yeah, cool beans. Keep it real. Keep reading what your heart deserves. Bye. Right. Bye. Well, I have read a few more chapters of The Lost Apothecary, and I'm well into the story. Really enjoying it. I'm not halfway through yet. But we are finding more about The Lost Apothecary. And I think one of the reasons why I like the one character is because her name's Eliza. I love the name Eliza, but as you can see, I have like four tabs there, and they'll have something written on it, and it's just kind of, they all say like last page of the book, like 100 pages left to go, halfway through, and where I want to read to. I mean, I'm not going to get to my reading goal today, but that's okay, right? Enjoying it. I don't know. I don't know why. Maybe I just knew I was going to be drawn to this book, and I really like it, which is why I knew I should do uh, definitely read it. But tonight, when I was at the library, I decided to peruse through some old issues of magazines. And why are tabloids like this? Like, where, like, they pull you in with, like, the sleaziest lines of being like, ooh, you want to know this, right? But then you end up reading it, and you can just know based on the headline what it's actually really about and you feel like dumb because you actually went through and you read it and it's just nothing like they're all like fluff pieces right and at the same time it's like why do I care right like why are tabloids still a thing like why are like paparazzi like a thing right like why do people find it like 
I don't know, like, should celebrities be something of interest like this? Like, should we be, I don't know, maybe, like, should they be their own vloggers so that way they take the power back, right? Like, they star in movies and then, like, they do, like, personal vlogs or something like that and they, they take the power back. But, like, why, why are celebrities just so interesting? I don't know, right? But back to the last path here, Carrie. Good. Love learning about what apothecaries actually is and what they are, especially back in the day. But yeah, so far so good. Loving it. All right. Bye. Hey, so today I thought that I would start off with kind of saying a or sharing a benefit of reading. And one of the today's kind of like tip for the one of the benefits of reading is that it increases your vocabulary because it increases your your vocabulary. You can always have find the words to express yourself at home in your personal life as well as at work, and you can always tend to write more professional emails and just you know just generally express yourself the way that you want to because you have access to the words that you may not necessarily already have. So I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah. Right, so I didn't end up getting any reading done last night, which is 100% fine, right? But I do plan to get more reading done tonight. I'm really enjoying Lost Path Carry. I will finish it this weekend. So, you know, one another week, another book finished. And I'm enjoying it so much. Like this book, I uh, it was a withdrawal book from one of the libraries and I picked it up the book, the library bookstore. But I think I'm enjoying it so much that a part of me will just wants to keep it. Keep it for the future because I feel like I'm going to read it again. Right? And even though I have this thing where like if I pick up like a book from the bookstore just in general and it's a library withdrawal book, I will just like get rid of it just based on the fact that it's withdrawal because of the stamps and everything but I don't know this one's so good that I might even keep it but yeah liking it loving it yes all right bye Alrighty, I read a little bit more of The Lost Apothecary I'm really enjoying it mainly because everything's starting to come together but another thing is that today's reading a dip it, let's say, is that reading allows you to have or creates more empathy for you, right? Because you get to see things from the other perspective, which is always a good thing. And something we always like to do and see, which is everything you'd want to do happen when you read. Right? And I, but I really like how everything, uh, you know, I'm hopefully fingers crossed going to be able to get this read before tomorrow so I can say like, you know continue on with reading one book a week but we'll see right we're trying you know life gets busy things get away from us but you know as long as we read every single day and even if it's for 15 minutes right or a chapter or two anyways that's it yeah <laughs> just reading creates more empathy all right Ready? It's official. I now have le just under a hundred pages left of the Lost Apothecary, which means that I'm well on my way to finish it tomorrow. And which means I've read a book this week. Yes, you know it's all about the clip. You know, reading one book a week, still enjoying it. The mysteries of the Lost Apothecary and the old to the new, and the, the Apothecary murder is about to come true. <gasps> Ooh. Anyways, I'm really enjoying it. I really like it. And I'm really cho glad that I chose to read this book this week. And it was a very busy work. Really quick read. Really enjoying it. Highly suggest. Alright. I will get back to it and let you know what I think about it in the future. Or once it's done. <laughs> Alright. Bye.